You know that rush of cleaning energy that you get when you have company coming over? Okay, this, this is all of that energy right here. In this video, we're gonna deep clean the living room and the dining space because that's mainly where we'll be. The kitchen is getting like a half job just because my energy level was at like a 15% by the time I got to the kitchen. So I got the least amount of love. Now, usually I just sweep around the plant pots, but we're just, we're just gonna go all in today. I want full access to the ground and this deep clean. And that means moving all the plants into a different spot for a few minutes. So if you guys don't know, I have a toddler. I call him Poppy. And right now he's going through this, this why phase. So it pretty much comes after everything I say. The living room honestly doesn't get that bad. I just have three rules for the space. No shoes in the house. Okay, maybe that's one that goes beyond the living room because it applies to the entire house, but the other two are no food or drinks in the living room and to just put back the item where you got it. And that's pretty much how I keep this space pretty much the cleanest. Now, if only we could apply that rule to like the bedrooms, mainly mine, because it's always a hot mess in there, which we are not going to see today because of that very reason. So if you have any house rules that help you keep your space clean, feel free to leave them in the comments. I mentioned this several times in other videos where I'm cleaning. This is my DIY go-to all-purpose spray. I use it literally on everything, furniture, windows, plants, literally like just everything. I'm deep cleaning everything I normally wouldn't touch, including this coffee table, which I should probably practice wiping down more often. So I got the windows on my list and this coffee table. So I'll have to add that to maybe a monthly routine. Okay, so what you guys don't see here is the vacuum giving me 15 seconds of false hope because the battery died immediately. I'm not really sure what I was expecting to find under the cushions. It's usually Poppy's oven. That's what he called it. It's his oven. And he'll hide his toys under there until they're cooked. You know, imaginary play type of thing. But he does remove them. Like I said, everything goes back to its spot by the end of the day for the living room. Let me know how often you guys look under your sofa cushion. The last sofa we had before moving here stored literally everything but the kitchen sink underneath it. I definitely don't spend the entire day cleaning and I do allow myself to take breaks in between. I used to dedicate so much energy into trying to keep the house spotless. I mean, it was just overwhelming. And so I changed it. It wasn't working for me. I changed it. Um, I dedicate a few minutes to an hour a day to do a few tasks that I feel, you know, will make the house look cleaner, less cluttery. And if I feel like doing more, why not? If not, then I don't. And honestly, that has been working for me along with everyone else completing their portion of the chores as well. I rarely clean these windows. I think I clean these windows every time I do like a clean with me. That's when I remember, I'm like, oh, okay. I need to clean the windows. So this rag was literally turning black from the dust that was building up on the windows. So making a mental note to myself to wipe down the windows more frequently other than when the camera's rolling. All right, so I'm gonna stop right here because I actually need to run to the laundromat to wash the curtains and I have a few comforters that I need to knock out of. 
the way as well as the um I should probably take this rug just wash it so so yeah I'll meet you guys at the laundromat Okay, so earlier this year I had some friends visit and they set up this beautiful date night scene for me and my husband. Trails of rose petals, candles, it was just beautiful. And to hold on to that memory, I pressed some rose petals from that night in this pretty heavy book. I'm hoping to use them in a DIY. I just have no idea what I want to use them for. Some form of wall art maybe? I don't know, we'll see. If you guys have any ideas for the DIY, please let me know because I really want to use these ASAP. And now that everything is wiped down and swept, the plants get to bring back that life and character back into this space. I didn't realize how, I don't know, empty-ish the living room looked without the plants. Um, but yeah, the plants do add a lot of life into this space. And now we are going to move into my dining room, which uh, it's, it's better than most days. I'll be honest, it's definitely better than most days. Again, moving all the plants off of the floor so that I can do a thorough sweep and also off the windows to give it a good wipe down. Actually, I think it was like one or two days after wiping this down, I went back to look at my plants because that's just what I do. I just like to stare at them. And I noticed that like 70% of them in this little section here had spider mites. And I was like freaking out. Like I don't like insects. And the smaller they are, the more they make my skin crawl. So definitely had to clean that up. But hopefully I did a good job. Oh, I was cleaning this part of the window, but
So I've been trying out HelloFresh meals for the past few weeks because all of a sudden everybody wants to be picky and not eat what I cook. And for my mental health, I just decided to put less effort into what I'm making and just order HelloFresh since everything comes pretty much, you know, ready to cook and all the ingredients are there. And no one has complained, which I feel a little insulted, but I guess that's a personal issue. <laughs> but yeah, HelloFresh is really good. It's been working, so. Okay, so the dining room, which I'm sure many of us could relate to, it's like it's like a dump zone, you know? If you're playing the lazy card, everything ends up on the table. If nobody knows where something goes, it ends up on the table. If they do know where it goes, it ends up on the table. And yes, I am guilty of that myself, okay? It just it just all ends up on the table. And now to put away the groceries that have been sitting in this bag for a few days now. Honestly, I'll buy the groceries, I'll put everything that goes in the fridge away, and then I'll let the bag sit and marinate for like two days before I'm like tired of looking at them. So this is just one of those bags. These oranges won't last much longer, so I'm gonna make some fresh orange juice before they start going bad. I never told you guys why I'm actually deep cleaning these spaces, but you know, since I brought it up, <laughs> I'm hosting my first official tea party. You know, the poofy dress, fancy hat and gloves type of tea party. I had this whole vision that I wanted you guys to be a part of, but I definitely got the best of me that day and I wasn't able to record most of it. I do have like snippets towards the end of this video so hopefully next time I'll manage my 
time management skills well and share the experience with you guys because it was it was definitely enjoyable um, and you know maybe it might inspire you guys to hold your own little fancy tea party um, I watched enough sugar cube tutorials to try this out and maybe I should have just watched a few more because this sugar cube thing it yeah it definitely a failed attempt but a learned experience So I come into the kitchen because I smelled something on the verge of burning and then it urged me to look in the oven and this was the result. It looks a hot mess, definitely like not what I saw on the tutorial. I really really enjoyed setting the table up for the tea party I think the flowers were like I don't know maybe they were my favorite part just because they were so vibrant and plants in my home they're usually they're just green you know so it's nice to have a little color a little variety on the table
I found some napkin rings at Dollar Tree, so I bought two packs and they did pretty well. They held up pretty well. I did wash them before I used them, which is why they're out of their packets. So my best friend's mom, she's a seamstress and she made this gorgeous dress for me, but she's all the way in Florida. So I wasn't there to get like exact measurements. So it does fit a little loose around the chest. Might just be because I have, you know, not much of a chest, but I thought this bra, wearing a bra might give me a little boost, but I was kind of wrong, but you know, the dress still fit really nice. So <laughs> I felt absolutely beautiful. I really had fun. I enjoyed my company. So I was actually going to do like a slick back ponytail, but I don't think I have time. So I'm just going to leave my hair out alone. Should I? Actually, I don't enjoy wearing my hair out. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.